Joining us this morning, Congressman Mark Vesey, a Democrat from Fort Worth. Thanks for joining us. Thank you very much for having me on. Well, you are the lead plaintiff in this case involving uh, the state's voter photo ID requirements. And recently, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the Fifth Circuit ruled that it violates the Voting Rights Act. Right. Where is this right now? Been out talking to people about it. What's going to happen with this? Well, you know, the important thing to remember is that there was a three judge panel that unanimously ruled that this particular law, this Texas law, uh, does violate Section 2 of the Voting Rights Act. What they did was that they ordered the case back uh, to Corpus Christi, which was the original district court. Uh, I don't know what the district court uh, is going to do. Uh, she does have specific in instructions to come up with some sort of a, uh, you know, a remedy or, or, or something to, to help make this better. Okay. I, I don't know what's going to happen. Uh, but I, I do feel very confident. Uh, I'm glad that I was the lead plaintiff on the lawsuit uh, because to me the Texas law is very discriminatory. It's considered the most discriminatory out of any of the voter ID laws in the entire country. And I had to stand up and do the right thing. Okay, you, you talk about how discriminatory it is, and I think one question that a lot of people still have about this is, are there really that many blacks and Latinos out there in 2015 who don't have photo IDs, and what's keeping them from getting these IDs? There are lots of people that don't have photo IDs. When I was a, a campaign staffer uh, back in Tarrant County, back in the uh, late 1990s, early 2000s, I would often in meet people and I would ask them, hey, do you want to go and vote? We'll give you a ride to the polls. And they'd say, well, I don't have an ID. And, uh, and so I would meet people like that often. And not only that, if you think about it, it's a poll tax. For instance, in order to get the voter ID card, you have to be able to secure documents like birth certificates, passports, things like that, that cost money. And if you don't have the money to pay for that particular uh, uh, document that you need, that instrument that you need to get the free voter ID card, well, then it's really not free. And, it's really, and it places a burden uh, on voters. It's really the first time since the Voting Rights Act was passed that this much of a burden has been placed on the voters. After the Voting Rights Act, laws were passed to make it a lot easier to vote. There's been a lot of retrogression in the last five, ten years. Uh, and it, with Texas as being back in 2011, and that's why we're standing up and fighting for this is because it's really a retrogression from the 1960s when things were supposed to be easier to enable uh, people to go and vote. Mm -hmm. Would you be supportive of voter ID if, if the law here allowed numerous forms of ID? Well, the, you know, the old law allowed numerous uh, forms of ID. I, I didn't, you know, see what was wrong with the old law. When I served on uh, the committee, uh, in, in the state legislature, we asked repeatedly, not just the one time I served on the committee, but several times, we asked over the years, show us proof that voter fraud in, exists, in-person voter fraud. They would never present any evidence. We asked over and over. The, the law that we had was, was working. Now, we worked, we tried to work with Republicans to, to come up with something that was fair. They said, no, we're going to pass something that we want to pass. My understanding was that the bill was actually written in ALEC, uh, that it wasn't even written, written in the Texas legislature, that it was written, written, written in ALEC, and that they didn't want to accept any amendments because they knew that this would uh, achieve what they wanted to achieve, which was suppressing people's right to vote. So you've been having town hall meetings and yes. talking to folks. What are they asking you? What are they interested in? Yeah, uh, people have been asking uh, about a lot of different things. Obviously, with uh, what we've been seeing on television lately, with uh, you know going on with the police, mm -hmm. uh, we had a lot of questions about that. We had several people, both pro and con, uh, particularly from the Jewish community, show up uh, to ask us questions about uh, the, the the Iran deal. And, uh, and, and so those were probably the two main topics, but, you know... You what do you tell them uh, about the police and Black Lives Matter and the Arlington situation? Absolutely. Uh, you, you know, what I've been telling people is that, look, it's... Uh, I think that this has been going on a long time, and it's great that we do have cell phones and other devices that can uh, capture uh, some of the things uh, that are going on, so, so it doesn't have to be... Uh, the police versus the word of the citizen. I think that it helps bring you know transparency to what the police are doing, and that it allows us to have a conversation on how the community uh, can coexist peacefully uh, with our local uh, police departments, uh, and and how we can build up trust in police departments, and really how ultimately police departments may even uh, need to change some of their procedures so we won't have tragedies that happen like the one in Arlington.
It's almost election time. Yes. It comes around all the time. All the time. <laughs> uh, are you expecting another rematch with Domingo Garcia? Or well, rematch with Domingo Garcia? Well, you know, I've had uh, two, you know, well-funded opponents, you know, in a row now, 2012 and 2014. Uh, and uh, and so, you know, you always have to you, to be, you know, think that maybe you'll have an election. But right now, I'm just focused on being a member of Congress. I still am doing my Mark Means businesses where I go and work. Yeah. Uh, at different businesses, and uh, you know, I'm actually going to be working uh, at Alcon uh, next week. Uh, you know, I've worked at taquerias, I've worked at barbecue places, <laughs> uh, so we'll continue to do that. Continue to do Congress on your corner. I actually uh, rolled the dart line and passed that information about how people can get help uh, from the district office, and uh, and we did the same thing on the T bus in Fort Worth. And so, you know, we're rocking and rolling and moving. Uh, right along, and uh, and and I'm you know focused on trying to be a good member of Congress. All right. Well, thank you so much for good joining to see us you. today. Thank you very good much. To see you. Thank you.